Here is the new Samsung Galaxy A55 coming in at $400. It weighs 213 grams and boasts a Gorilla Glass back, an aluminum frame and a 6.6 inches Super AMOLED display with 120Hz refresh rate, HDR10+, and a 1000 nits of peak brightness all protected by Corning Gorilla Glass Victus Plus with always-on display capabilities. Its build quality is as good as can be for a mid-range device. It looks quality, it feels quality, it is quality. The Samsung A series has very quickly become Samsung's most anticipated line of devices as it resonates with far more people than the S series, mainly due to its price difference. And this year's A series is no different. The only downside about this build is its size. It is an upgrade from the A54, but not necessarily a good one in my opinion. The A55 completely fills your hand when you hold it and it gets very uncomfortable very quickly. However, its squarish design and flat frames complemented by the key island has this device looking great. On the plus side, the size of this screen allows for an immersive experience when consuming media, assuming you're holding it up with two hands or simply placing it on a surface. With 120 frames per second, HDR10+, and a thousand nits of peak brightness, you will have no concerns in the media department and to help boost the experience is the surround sound with speakers on the bottom and underneath the earpiece. It sounds amazing and with good clarity as well. It has an in-screen fingerprint sensor that is quite responsive but doesn't feel like it due to its unlock animations that comes up a second slower. You can get the A55 with either 128 or 256GB of storage and 6, 8 or 12GB of RAM. Storage expansion is possible using an SD card, but at the detriment of a second SIM card. So, you can either have a dual SIM setup or a single SIM and an SD card. In addition to coming in an empty box, the A55, like the A54, has no earphone jack. But hey, if they end distributing with earphones, I don't think they expect you to use any. It does however have a Type-C USB port for charging and they were gracious enough to add a cable. But you have to get the charging brick yourself. Hey, what you looking at me for? At least they are meeting you halfway. If you really need earphones, you can always get a dongle which converts your USB-C to a 3.5mm jack. The A55 comes with Android 14 on One UI 6.1 with an Exynos 1480 4nm chipset with an octa-core CPU and an Eclipse 530 GPU. Paired with its 6, 8 or 12GB RAM, the A55 is pretty responsive to touch and handles tasks with grace. Multitasking is great, scrolling through social media for hours works fine as well, but not recommended for physical, psychological and emotional health reasons. I mean, them boys be oppressing. Gaming on the A55 is great as well. At medium to low graphic settings, titles like PUBG, Call of Duty and Zhengzheng Impact works great and I personally had no experience of overheating all through my test but with Zhengzheng Impact, you could feel the device warm up quite a bit. The A55 has a resolution of 1080 by 2340 pixels with 390 pixels density and you can enjoy the vibrant colors it produces while gaming. The cameras on the A55 sounds great on paper but I was honestly quite disappointed with its finished product. So, it has a 50 megapixels main camera, a 12 megapixels ultra wide camera and a 5 megapixels macro camera. Shoots videos at 4K 30 frames per second and 1080p 30 and 60 frames per second. Same as his selfie camera, with the selfie camera boasting a 32 megapixels lens. So, pretty much the same as the A54. Here are sample photos and videos from the A55. Let me know what you think about its picture and video quality in the comments. I personally don't think it is anywhere close to what it can truly be. And I am not sure why Samsung held back and gave an extra advantage to its competitors. The Galaxy A55 has a 5000mAh batteries, which by now we should all be used to. So, should you get the A55? If you ask me, I'd say no, you shouldn't. I would say the A54 is a cheaper alternative if money is in consideration. The main difference lies in its new body with the change in design and size. Now. I can only bring you my experiences with this device to the best of my knowledge to help you make an informed decision. So if you like what you have seen and you're fine with its specs as well, then who am I to say do not buy one? If this video has been useful to you, please hit the like button and subscribe to the channel to get access to more content like this. Thank you for your time. Till we see you again, bye bye.